Sean, one of the most frustrating things I faced was trying to find a good calendar for my for my church website. I sat there and I looked at the stuff on WordPress and I finally thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to use my Gmail calendar or my, my uh, Google calendar? I mean, have you run across that? I have. I was looking at ways to do my calendar and not have to put it in my calendar on my computer and then have to go and put it on my calendar on my website. I need something that was easy and help shorten my tasks. Because you can input into this calendar right off your phone, can't you? I sure can, Chad. So you, you can be sitting there in the staff meeting and they're telling you what to put on the calendar and you're actually putting it on right then, real time. I actually, that's what I do. When we're in staff meeting, I'm putting it on my phone or in my iPad and it's updating our website as we're planning an event. So as we, you know, of course I don't put events that we're just kind of thinking about. But once we nail down that we're doing an event, it goes straight to our calendar. Well, you can put that thinking about, you can actually set up another calendar nobody sees, the thinking about calendar. So when you look at your calendar, you can see that thinking about and just click on it and move it to the church calendar just like that. Right. I mean, I have on my calendars, I have a staff calendar, which has like stuff that the staff's going to be gone for or stuff that we're planning or thinking about and when it does go to something that we're going to do for the whole church then i just i simply uh it's move really, it over it's really drag and drop yes and so as obama so famously often says you can do it right away so we're going to do it right away all right so here's the two things we're going to cover today <laughs> we're going to cover two things we're going to show you how to set up how to embed this calendar here. And then we're also, if you have a WordPress site, we're going to do a little drop down. So, and right here, we're going to add a ministry calendar for our video, video ministry. My video ministry, I sent them the link and they lose it in the email. And I didn't really want to put it out, but I've decided to go ahead and put a drop down here so that they can find it a lot easier. And really, I was just being stubborn by not putting it up. You know, I, I don't know. I should have done it from the very first. Yes. I should have done it right away. Yes. It just helps everybody know one central location. They're not going to forget your church's name or your, or your dot .com. Well, let's get this done. The first thing is log into your site. If you're logged into your site, you'll be able to edit this page. And I'll show you the code we've got in here for this. I'm going to edit it. And notice there's an embed code or an iframe code right here that we just copy and paste in there. Well, where do you get that? Let's go back over here. This is my Gmail account. And if you've never signed up for Gmail, it's very easy. Go to uh, gmail.com and I think it redirects you to the mail. Yeah. But uh, you go there, sign up for it, log in. Once you're logged in, click on calendars. And right here on the left-hand side... You can see a list of calendars that I've made. Now, this is my pastor, and this is a, a youth minister here, and this is our Sunday service uh, for our staff, uh, for our video staff, um, volunteer staff that come in. And so all these calendars can be made just by simply going here, create new calendar, and then begin to populate it. Now, one of the things that, I, that comes up often, uh, Sean, is I have to schedule these guys every three weeks. That's the schedule we have. And so we have enough people to come up here once every three weeks. So it makes it kind of awkward to schedule because you can't exactly do it, you know, first week or whatever. It's an every three week thing. So here's how I do that just to show you in case you're wondering. Click on here, create a new event. We're going to schedule Tanya. There is no uh, such thing as a Tanya in our ministry. And the calendar is here and we're going to edit events right here. You can set this up to repeat and you can set it up how you want it so if you choose weekly if you happen to be like me where it's every three weeks now notice right here you can set up different options monthly yearly weekly and if you're not finding exactly like my case is every three weeks well I can move this to number three weeks and if yours is every five weeks like if some people every other month only schedule some people on the fifth week well that's an option also you can repeat on different days if you happen to have nursery workers during the week and then you can end on never. That's what I do. And you can push done. So we just scheduled Tanya every three weeks. And we're going to push save. And now at 1 p.m. every third week, let's look at three weeks from now. So that would be the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and back on the 24th. You'll notice that Tanya is scheduled, but she's not scheduled on the 17th. The last thing I'm going to show you about this schedule is I can edit one person. If I want to take her out. I can edit event and I want to say, you know what? It's not Tanya. It's Chad that's going to do it. And you push save. 
and it comes up with this button that says do you want to only edit this event or all following events and since I only want to change out one person I'm only gonna say only this event notice it changed this one but you come back over here to the 24th Tanya still scheduled so this works great this is how I handle all my scheduling and let's see how we can embed this into our site and, and Chad you would do that like just in case for one week Tanya wasn't gonna be there exactly. that's why you would just want to change maybe like one event and not all the events yeah cuz Tanya will go ahead and catch up with the schedule next time all right so we come over here and you can right click on the calendar you want to embed so I'm sorry, not right click, but click on the little triangle right here. And we're going to share this. Uh, Sean's whispering to me, calendar settings. I usually go over here and do it. Sean's much more proficient on the left hand side of the screen. And scroll down to this embed code. But before I use this, if I were to copy and paste, it would uh, go in there, but it would be a different color. So I want to customize the color just a little bit. And I also want to customize the the size of it we've pre-measured and I'll show you what I use if you go over here to the site I'm gonna view the page and this is how you get your measurements is go to your calendar or go to any page you can see how wide your page is and we use a thing called measure it now I'm using Firefox I go to tools go to add-ons and I, I type in the word measure it to get this plug in now once I click it I can measure it and see how big it needs to be so it's about 900 pixels wide and 450 I'm gonna go 450 to make it a little longer here so we can close that go back to our calendar where we're editing it and we can put it that in there make it a little wider you're gonna notice it gets a little wider and then we're gonna make it a little shorter because we don't need quite that much room because my schedule is kind of small and you notice it shortened it up there um, but now I'm seeing this plus two that's not gonna work for me so I misguessed the the height I'm gonna go back to 600 and see if I can get rid of the plus two because that's just a little bit of a pain when the count the person coming in to check the calendar they have to click in it like that so that looks a lot better to me what do you think Sean is that gonna work for us that I think that looks very good okay so we they've changed the code the width now is 900, the height is 600, and we can even change the colors of this. And so so, th so there's a little option here of changing the background color. Now, I got excited when I saw this, thinking I could change this. Not going to happen. When you change it, it only changes the top. So you can play around that. If it works into your color scheme, like I just showed you, you might go in and pick a little bit of a blue in my case. And it's not really the same color of blue. Um, but you you know you could play with it for a little while I'm not going to change the color but that you know just look at what your site looks like and if something sticks out and you can match it you might enhance it just a little bit I think I'm finished with the code now let me highlight it all there's one more thing you can do Chad before we jump from this page yes. is there's a calendar title if you scroll up there in the corner there will be a calendar title now if you don't like what this calendar is titled Whatever, whenever you upload this, it's going to take, like what you see there, Sunday Service Media Ministry. But say your calendar was named something different, or you wanted to name it something fancier. You could change the title right here, and it's going to change your embed code again to, to show that. So all we need to do right here is copy this code, and this is so amazing to me, that you can just copy the code, come back to your website, and since I have got this one the way I want I'm just gonna add a new page so not a new post I need a new page on this one I don't think it would matter we were sitting yes here yes it would matter because it would go into your post so if you're using a WordPress site this does matter because a post is going to go into your blog post and you don't want your calendar uh, you may want your calendar but it's easier just to do a link yourself but use a page in this type stuff especially when the page is not going to change very much or it's not an announcement. Make sure you're set to HTML. Paste that right in there. And then name your, you know, name the calendar. And that's it. We'll push save on this. Scroll down. Publish. Now that we've published it, we're going to simply view the page. Because I want to make sure it looks right before I put it out there for everybody 
And on this page, I didn't take off of uh, the menu on the left-hand side. And so I can go back in. This is just for our WordPress site. You may or may not have these options for you. And we're going to take off. We're going to make this full width. We're going to update. And now when we view the full page, it gives us a full page view of our content there. Now, this calendar is different from our other calendar, and there's no link to this page. So here's how you set that up. We're going to copy this URL, and we're going to go. And Sean's looking over my shoulder here, shaking his head, saying, Chad, you don't even have to copy the URL. I, sometimes I just do it the way I first learned it, and there's easier ways to do it, but I'll show you that. So we're going to find our menu under appearance here and then menus. So once you get to menu, scroll down and your all your menus are right here. But the easiest way to get your new page over here is to click it. It'll be show up in the most recent and then you can add to menu. Now it's not going to go to the right place. So you can pull it up here to under calendar and then pull it over and it will be listed under your calendar. Make sure you push save menu. And if you don't, if you don't have all these menus set up, we do have tutorials at, at howchurchmediaworks.com, Chad, that mm -hmm. shows web building and how to organize your menus and build your menus, don't we? Absolutely. Absolutely. We wouldn't leave you high and dry uh, unless we had methods to our madness. And uh, here it is now. We go to calendar and we have this brand new little list here, video ministry calendar. So they can look up their schedule, and we can add more calendars if we wanted to with that same process. Go back to the main calendar right there, and you can see our full calendar of all our events. See, and it's that easy. I don't have time, Chad, to go to, go to a website, put in an event. Go to my personal calendar, put in an event. Exactly. You can edit all this right from your phone just by putting it in. That's right. And see, we don't come to you with complicated stuff. No, we like simple. Simple. Simple every time. Making your life easier. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. All right. A little shout out here. Amy with EmmausOKC.org. She called us and specifically asked us to do a tutorial on this subject right here. Thank you for that request. If you have any requests or anything, give us a call. Go to our contact page at HowChurchMediaWorks.com. Hit the contact page and contact us. Love to hear from you. And remember, if you want more in-depth tutorials, you can also get a membership at the same site. Talk to you all later.